Hello, I want to give you guys a brief step-by-step -step how to get yourself set up for WebAssign. So um, you've already found the Canvas page and you've already worked your way through a bit. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do um, is go to WebAssign. And you can get there in many different ways. You can open up a new browser. It's just webassign.net. Um, I've also provided a link here. The one issue I'm having with this link is it actually takes you out of Canvas, which I don't like, um, where every other link throughout the, um, the all the pages leaves you in it, it just opens a new window for WebAssign, and for some reason I can't get that one to work. But anyway, long story short, get to WebAssign some way, shape, or form, and you should see a page that looks like this. Now, if you've used WebAssign before, you're familiar with the username, institution, password, um, we're not going to do that right now. That's how we're going to log in after we've already signed up for the course. Right now, what we have to do is use the I have a class key choice. So when we select that, it brings us to a screen here where we have to type in the class key. Now where you're going to get this from, well, the first part is the same for everybody. It's just pv.maricopa. Um, pv.maricopa. But where you're going to see that is in your syllabus. So you can you can get to the, your syllabus either through the main page, um, downloading it. There's been many opportunities to get the syllabus. And you see our class key is provided right there inside the syllabus. pv.maricopa 0368850. So I'm going to go ahead and type those into our WebAssign webpage. Okay, so now that you have those things typed into the boxes, pv.maricopa0368850. Now, this is for my summer course, May 2013. So if you are in this class, then you can go ahead and use that code. If you are in a different class, then don't use those numbers. Use whichever numbers are found in your syllabus. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. And you'll see what happens. It says that it, I typed in a class class key it recognized, and it's verifying that you're signing up for the correct course. So if you're taking a course with me, Professor Dwork, then here you go. Um, if you're taking it with somebody else, just make sure it matches the teacher you're supposed to be taking it from the section uh, and all of that. So just go ahead and confirm, yes, this is my course. Now, if you've already taken the course um, and you're repeating it, or you've already taken math uh, brief calculus and you use the same book, um, or just if you've ever used WebAssign before, just choose the I already have a WebAssign account. Um, and then what you're going to be able to do here is log in. Now the nice thing here is if you every book you've ever purchased, if you purchase the lifetime of edition type book, um, you don't have to pay for it again if it's the same book being used in the next class, or if you're repeating or something of that nature. So go ahead, put your username, institution, password. Um, if you've never used WebAssign before, then you're going to say, I need to create a WebAssign account and choose continue. Um, and you will notice here, if you're having problems logging in, you may contact WebAssign for assistance. So meaning if you've used WebAssign and it was a while ago, you can't remember your password, that's where you go to get help with that. Um, and they'll get you all set back up. So I'm going to say I want to create an account. Now, you will notice here, um, preferred username. Me personally, I like, I always recommend that students use their MEID since you, most of you have that memorized. Um, so you're going to type in whatever you want. You know, I'll type in my MEID. There we go. Um, your password, use whatever password you so choose. But notice the thing you cannot choose is your institution code because you're at Paradise Valley of Maricopa. That's what you got to use. So go ahead and pick a password, type that in. And you notice you have to re-enter it. Now I have a request for your name, your first name, last name, email address. Um, email address, I recommend using an email address you actually check. Um, make it your default, your actual, what it, whatever it may be. If you actually check your Maricopa, use that one. Um, a student ID number, you can type that in. Notice it's not an asterisk. I don't need that. But your first name and last name, please put it in how it would be on the roll and on your driver's license. Um, don't use nicknames. Type it in with proper punctuation. Um, don't use all caps, things of that nature, because I have to read it every time every time and it gets a little tedious so go ahead and do that I, I can't click, click create because I already have an account so I'm gonna go ahead and and log in okay and now you should be seeing a screen that looks something like this notice I, I had to create a sample class because it your class hasn't begun yet um, so you should see something like this um, purchase and access online purchase access online um, so if you want to purchase straight through them, enter an access code purchased with a textbook or from a bookstore. So if you went and bought the textbook from our bookstore, then that's what you'd use. And you have 13 days. You can always just say continue free trial. And you have 13 days to figure out how you're going to get your code. And you can participate fully in the class. Um, and you should be, you should be in.